going live and we're live what's up everyone your boy blew up going here on jugglers online and jugglers online talk radio but see these interviews first live on youtube on jugglers online's youtube channel new jugglers online um but uh anyways um <clears throat> tonight's interview uh, i'm interviewing a uh juggler homie of mine i consider him a homie you know we talk on the internet through facebook and everything you know but you know um uh, a couple years ago, I lost faith in Jesus, and I uh, did want to show disrespect to him by this page I ran called um, Jugglers for Jesus. So I gave it away um, to the homie War Angel, and um, you know, then I luckily came back to the faith and said, "Hey, can I be a part of the page again?" And uh, so we're kind of like co-owners of the page, Would, wouldn't you say, there, uh, War Angel? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, um, so, um, you know, uh, it's it's got over a thousand likes on it, you know, and um, we try to post positive stuff for the um, Christian Juggalo family, um, <clears throat> keep it fresh for y'all, you know what I mean? So let me know if you're a Christian and want to be a part of it, possibly, or just be sure to look it up and like it anyways. Wow, I'm watching myself in my control room, this is weird. Um... But uh, yeah, ask them questions live in the chat, um, and uh, I guess I'll get to the normal way of uh, how I usually like to uh, do my interviews. Um, basically ask you, uh, what, were you a Christian? Were you raised Christian, or uh, were you a juggalo first? Um, I was raised Christian, and I think I learned about God and Christianity, like, somewhere around the age of three or four. Oh, okay, so you were introduced um, at an early age. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I got my first Bible. Um, a friend of the family bought me bought, uh, me my first Bible for my, uh, when I turned one. One, wow. For my, Okay, so you were raised with basic Christian beliefs, and it was just, you know, common knowledge to you, huh? You went through Sunday school and going to church as a child, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, we went to uh, an uh, evangelical church, me and my mom and brother and my dad. Ah, okay, okay. So we know the uh, denomination was e evangelical. When all Christians are supposed to be in evangelical Christians, you know, telling, preaching, proclaiming the name of Christ, you know, that's awesome. So, um, all right. Uh, so um, let's jump right to fast forward to uh, when you started getting into music. What was your first kind of music you started growing up with? Um, I basically grew up with classic rock. Uh -huh. Like Bob Seger, um, Tom Petty, The Beatles, and stuff like that. Awesome. Um, then I kind of got into heavy metal, sort of, when when I was still young, because uh, my dad had introduced me to Megadeth, so I got into that a little bit. Megadeth is cool. All right. Um, so... Uh... Uh, did you start getting into any rap at all? Uh, well, I was kind of not into rap until like when I until I first started being a juggalo. Like I heard Eminem and stuff, and I kind of liked Eminem when I was a little younger because my cousin always played it. But I didn't really actually start getting into rap. Until I, until after I became a juggalo. And how old were you when you became a juggalo? Um, that was back in '07, so I was 17. Oh, what a wonderful yeah. age! Lucky juggler number 17. A wonderful age to get introduced and, you know, taken over by the dark carnival. Like I said before, like it seems like the carnival really grabs a hold of you, doesn't it? Yeah, in a way, it does. So how did that affect you? How did the Dark Carnival grab, grab hold of you? Were you like like a, a clown boy at first, or what? Um, I I kind of just really went with the... I really got into the whole message of the Dark Carnival. And the more and more that I listened to ICP, and I just kind of really enjoyed the message as far as you know, you need to follow God, you need to find God, 
mm-hmm. and try to live a better life mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. The message in the music, you gotta love it. And that was already out in the air and it was out in the open or whatever. By the time you got into it, then I guess you know. So it basically was too when I got into it. Uh, it was right after Shangri La dropped. But this ain't about me. This is about you. Um, but you know, it's like yeah, ICP wants you to follow God. But um, you know, as Christians, you know, we should say it should be the Christian God, Jesus, um, and God the Father or whatever. But you know, um, ICP is basically telling you, you know, to believe in something at least. What's your view on that? You know, with the marvelous missing link and all that. I like the whole message of the marvelous missing link. As far as you gotta find your missing link um, for your salvation, mm-hmm. but to me, there's only one true missing link that you can find, and that's mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah, I'm with and, you on that, brother. Yeah, and I uh, I don't agree with ICP saying that. Um, you must find your faith, whatever that faith is, because you can't find salvation in whatever faith we want, you know, because the Bible teaches that salvation is only through Jesus. Yeah. So that, yep. that's my whole view on that. Oh, looks like we got some chatters here. Sorry, uh, what's up? Juggalo, oi, uh, whoop, whoop, uh, what up, Chase? Why are you standing? Because uh, I don't have a chair in here, and I don't feel like sitting on my bed. But, uh, yeah, shout-outs to y'all. Ask them questions if you want about uh, War Angels, um, you know, Christianity or beliefs in juggalo topics. Um, so, yeah, you know, I mean, as a Christian, too, I feel you, too, that uh, you should believe in Jesus. You know, that's the way, and that's what I want to tell people. But, okay, what's your view on, like, I know you're down with, uh, you actually introduced me to set free. And um, I didn't, even though I was into from Juggalo, I mean, yeah, from Juggalo to Jesus Freak, I didn't know about Set Free. I've heard about the Red Face Movement, uh, which shout outs to um, Jay Payne, too. I interviewed him of Red Face Movement. Um, you know, what is your view on what they do? Like, yeah, you're a Christian first, of course, and then you're a Juggalo. But, like, what, what do you feel about living a Juggalo lifestyle and trying to be the best Christian you can be? Well, I think that as long as you, uh, as long as you understand that the music is just mainly entertainment, mm-hmm. um, and but you know you got to focus on God first, and you, you know music actually really doesn't mean anything without you know God in your life. So. Um, so I think definitely put God first. Um, like you said, you're a Christian first, juggle up second, and uh, and so uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And I follow. And uh, as far as what what Seth Free and Jay Payne and the Red Face Movement um, are doing, I definitely support them all the way because you know, as you know. Uh, Set free only does it for you know to bring people to Christ. He doesn't do it for the money. Yeah, he gives his like CDs that. away. Yes, quick shout outs to Set Free. He will send you his last two albums for free, and I got a link to his first out al- first album as Set Free. Hit me up for that. Um, yeah, well, I think the post is pinned on Dark Carnival Christians, so that's another Christian page I run and created when I came back to the faith, but um, yeah, definitely, again, a uh, quick shout out to Jugglers for Jesus, you know, I mean, a lot of people get from Juggler to Jesus Freak and Jugglers for Jesus confused, but uh, yeah, we are the ones that run Jugglers for Jesus, so uh, we... Um, yeah, I've, had, I've had some people uh, come on there asking when we're going to the gathering, <laughs> confusing us with, with some Juggler to Jesus Freak, uh, yeah. explaining and everything. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, you know, that's cool, but, um, yeah, definitely big love shout-outs to, uh, you know, the homie Joe Hemblin, I think his name is, and uh, Set Free, and uh, Jay Payne, um, you know, those dudes are just cool people, and I really respect what they're doing, you know, but they're basically telling you to stop being jugglers and, and fully devote your life to Christ, you know, any more words on that? 
Um, I I think that if it's standing in the way of your relationship with God, then yes, you should drop the hatchet. If it's like a wall in between you and God, you definitely should drop the hatchet because your salvation is more important. Your mm -hmm. relationship with God is more important. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's not, if it's not like, like for the jugglers for Jesus, it's not a, it's not an issue. It's not a barrier in between their, um, them and their relationship with God. So, so in that case, I think that it's completely fine to be a juggler and um, a Christian juggler mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, it's just whatever you consider to be a sin. If it's a sin to you, then it is. You know, and if that's listening to the music or hanging out with certain friends who are jugglers, then sometimes you need to cut that out of your life to where you feel better and positive with that you're doing something. You know, me, I personally feel that I need to bump elbows with fellow sinners, you know, some juggler family, and help hopefully tell, tell them about Christ, you know, because it's all about Jesus. And that's what we got to do is do our best to be patient with people and, uh, you know, accept their faults, their sin. And uh, just you know, you know, make, hopefully help people people's relationship with Jesus. Yeah, because God wants a relationship, not religion. People, so remember that. And uh, that relationship is through His Son Jesus Christ, the only way to get to heaven. So every Amen. knee, every tongue will confess, every knee shall bow, and uh, it, that's a fact. So know about it. He's coming back. That's a definite fact. But um, yeah, throw some respect on it. Yeah, what do, what do you think about all this respect? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's all good with me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like the uh, well, I just I I caught up to it a couple weeks late, but I've been having fun with the whole Birdman respect thing, and he made a song about it and did an interview, an actual interview, and everything else. Just so, do you know anything about the Birdman respect thing? Um, I actually, yeah, I actually heard the song uh, just the other day, yesterday, I think. Uh huh. Um, it, it was all right. Yeah. I like it. Mm hmm I personally have respect for uh for Birdman uh from what he does, you know. Um, yeah, I I might not like all of his music like I do. I I don't like all of Little Wayne's music, you know what I mean? But it's just I I respect the hustle, you know what I'm saying? Because they're making money, you know, and they're popular, so they're doing what they're doing something, you know. They're living the dream. Shout out to the homie Jim in the chat room. Yes, because I am standing, fool. That's what I do. I'm the boy blue. I can do that. Um, but no, okay. So you said you didn't start listening to rap until you uh, got into ICP. So did the, like ICP being a juggalo open the door to the entire underground for you? Other artists to check out and stuff like that. Yeah, um, they pretty much opened the door for, like, the world of rap, the world of hip-hop. So I, I basically started looking up, researching different rappers and different, um, you know, artists in that genre. And that's how I got into a whole bunch, the whole bunch of rap that I'm into now. And, uh, and yeah, and so I also did research on psychopathic records and all their artists and got into their music very quickly after I got into ICP. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Tech Nine and you know, there's just so much great stuff in the underground, you know. Um but yeah, you know, that's why I like the mainstream. What's what's your opinion on the mainstream uh rap and rock scenes today? As far as mainstream, I guess like you'd be surprised at how much mainstream I actually like. <laughs> and I might be made fun of it made fun for it. Made fun of for it. I don't know, but I like like cash money and like different stuff like that. Um, Eminem, of course, he's my favorite rapper. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, well, let me jump in there, segue real quick. Eminem is a Christian now since he almost died and, uh, you know, was hospitalized and everything. He had found, he found God and everything. And Have you ever heard the Yellow Wolf song, Best Friend? 
Yes, I've heard the song and I've seen the video. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. That's when I was coming back to the faith. I wasn't quite a Christian again yet, but watching that, I'm like, wow, this is like the best shit I've ever seen in my life. Part of my French. I know we shouldn't be cussing on this interview, but um, I'm a juggalo, y'all, a twisted juggalo. Um, freak show. But anyways, um, yeah, you know what I mean? And they're all cussing. You know, he's like, uh, Eminem's in the church rapping about his God being his best friend and everything, but he's cussing and stuff in the lyrics. And I, I posted that on Facebook and my mom saw it and she was like, uh, we got to talk about this. She was like, that was disrespectful how uh, he was cussing in the church and everything. But mom, that's not, that's the, you're not understanding you know, the message in the music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to cuss and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But God will forgive you, as long as you don't take his name in vain. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know, you hear Jamie Madrox dropping GD all the time on the radio show and stuff like that, and, you know, ICP has said GD in, in lyrics and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a little disrespectful, you know, yeah, how they say you can be any, any religion. That's kind of like the Antichrist. You know, that's what the devil wants you to believe, that you can be, a, you be just be a good person and go to heaven. No, you have to accept Jesus, man. That's what, what people don't understand. Right. So, you know, uh, like, we're brothers in arms on that notion, bro, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know. Sometimes I think hopefully they have a chance in the afterlife. Maybe they were just so brainwashed by, by Satan and believed a lie when they were alive, but hopefully when they die, if they have a chance, they have they can call on Jesus. I just hope and pray that that's true, that people can pray, can call to Jesus when they die, and he will save them, you know? Yeah, I believe they can call to Jesus, like, right before, they're, right before they, uh, right before they die, and, you know, repent and ask for forgiveness, and I, I believe that if they truly mean it in their heart at that moment, when they do, when they die, then, uh, then they'll go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Well, I've seen near-death experiences, near-death experiences that are very similar to where people die and go to hell, but it's not like a fire and brimstone hell. It's like an outer darkness hell where there's like evil spirits that'll tear you apart and stuff. Um, but um, and then, but if you cry out to Jesus, you'll see a light come down, get bigger and bigger, and come down, and He will heal you, make you whole. And take you up to heaven real quick and be like, and he, he was like, you know, you, your time's not done. You got to go back to earth. So and then you agree to come back. You know, that's where I feel like I almost died on Easter, not to make it about me, but I didn't see have a near death experience and meet Jesus and have a vision of heaven or hell or anything like that. But I feel I did have a choice that I did maybe possibly talk to God, but I can't remember. But I had a choice to come back and preach His name. I didn't die that night on Easter, the eve of Easter. You know, because my, I still have a purpose here, and that is to talk, reach out to the Juggalo family and preach Jesus. So. Yeah, amen, man. That's what it, it's all about, Jesus. You know, it ain't about me. I just got his testimony. I got a story to tell, you know. It's not about me. It's about Jesus, you know. I wouldn't be here right hey. now if it wasn't for him. It's not about ICP. It's not about psychopaths. It's not even about being a Juggalo or anything. It's about Jesus. Yeah, it's cool to be a juggalo and represent and stuff and, and be into something, you know what I mean? You know, because you can be a Christian and have a relationship with Jesus, but you still feel like you need this juggalo family, people to relate to, you, you know what I mean? And uh, it's cool that we come from all different walks of faith and stuff like that. But, hey, I'm just here to tell you my opinion. You can have a different one. I have atheist friends. I have satanic friends. I have Wiccan friends. You know, shout-outs to the homie Sh um, Shiloh. He's a atheist, you know, but I've been trying to preach Jesus to him, so hopefully I win him over, you know, just win at least a couple souls for Christ, you know, and so I can just give it all to Jesus, lay down my crown at his feet when I get to heaven. You know, I want to store up treasures in heaven. You know, people think that's delusional and everything like that, but they just don't understand when they're on the outside looking in. You know, just like people don't understand jugglers. Some jugglers don't understand some Christians, you know. Right. So, sorry, I'm talking your ear off. This is supposed to be about you. But, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so you basically think that you can be a Christian and be a juggalo, even after you're baptized and all that stuff. So, sorry, say that again? So, so like, even after, like me, 
I want to fully devote my life to Christ at once, once, once I get baptized, you know what I mean? I want to kind of hang my hatchet on the wall and not be a juggalo as much, you know, so into it, you know, and follow it as much. I want to focus on God, you know? Well, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, I think it's definitely a very good thing to do, and it's it's good that I think maybe God um, put that in 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 you to uh, to think of doing that, and I think it's definitely probably necessary to get as close to God as um, you possibly can. Mm -hmm. And who knows? I mean, I might do the same thing. I don't know. Like, because I'm really into it, and I really follow it, probably not as much as you do, but I'm I'm pretty much up there as far as following the whole Juggalo um, family and the psychopathic and all that. But, um, yeah, like, I guess I would probably have to put my hatchet up on the wall at some point, too. Mm -hmm. So Okay, I can respect um, that. I respect it. I respect it. Is, huh? No, I was just saying I respect it, yo. I respect that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, because the fact of the matter is, we're running out of time, and we really need to be um, preaching Jesus to people on, on the streets, preaching to the homeless, um, which is something that I want to try to. Something that I want to try to do as well, you know, preach to the homeless and, and feed, feed the homeless on the streets and stuff like that. Mm, that's definitely respectable. Yeah. Yeah, that's very serious, too. Okay, so um, a little bit about your personal life. I don't know if you want to talk about how you just got a job, right? Right. Uh, yeah, this week is my second week. Or is it my third week? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's my second week. Um, it's going pretty well. I'm making ten dollars an hour, and that's pretty, pretty decent considering that I'm just standing there outside holding a sign. So. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I can do that. If I can get a job doing that, then yeah, I do that. You know, that's not that hard at all. You know, you don't have to really. You know, work with money and people and stuff like that. You just got to direct them to the store. Where that's cool. But so, do you see yourself at some point? You know, starting a family and just getting more serious about life and not being a juggler scrub anymore. Um, well, to be honest, I don't really know. Like, I definitely do want to get married at some point in my life. Um, I just don't really know if I want kids. Because I'm not sure if it's something that I could actually handle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yet. When you have your first kid, it's like, man, they don't teach you what to do or anything. They just, you know, you're allowed to have this kid at the hospital and take it home a couple of days later. You're like, there's no manual for this? Like, I don't have someone to show me the ropes here or something, you know? It's like you have to prepare for it. You have to prepare for it. Yeah, sleep deprivation. Um, you know, patience, you know, you have these people that aren't ready to be parents and they shake their kids or leave them out in a hot car to die and stuff like that while they're sexting at work, you know, um, stuff like that, you know, it's just crazy. But, you know, I respect that, that if you're not ready for it, you don't feel like you're ready for it yet because you are young too, you know, and uh, like me, my first kid was unexpected and, um, <laughs> you know, uh, you're just thrust, forced into this life, you know, but if they are truly a blessing, you know, having kids was the best thing that ever happened to me, so, you know, oh, yeah, no doubt. You know they are they a are blessing. They are a blessing to people, for sure. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, but uh, you got to take the bad with the good, you know, you got to be a good parent and sometimes be stern to them, and they won't act like they love you all the time, you know what I mean, but that's, you got to be a strong parent and teach them right from wrong, and yes, you know, um, Maybe give them a couple pats on the butt once in a while, you know. I mean, I do believe in that, you know. Spare the rod, spoil the child or whatever. Yeah. Anyways, okay, what else can we talk about? So, um, besides being a juggalo and a Christian, is there any other passions that you're into, like gaming or anything like that? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a gamer, definitely. Like, not a super hardcore gamer, 
or anything like that, but I definitely like gaming. Um, I like writing a lot. I'm a creative writer, and I got um, I have my own comic book productions um, that I just recently started. That's right. That's right. I forgot all about that. Awesome. You want to talk a little bit more about that? If you can disclose any any rumors and speculation. Uh, well, yeah, um, for sure. Uh, currently, um, I came up with the name Underworld Comic Productions. That's the name of it. Okay. And, and I'm currently working on issue number one of Jade the Nightmare. And she is the creator of Gothop. Okay. And, and uh... Yeah, so I mainly basically do comics for rappers and artists and stuff like that. But I have a few projects that I'm going to be doing. So I got Jake the Nightmare, issue number one that I'm working on. I also got, um, I also got a comic book for Slick Ken, a rapper named Slick Ken. I'm not going to say his full rap names because it's kind of, Brutal. So, um, but and then also a comic for possibly a comic for the rapper named Odium. Okay. O D I U M. Yeah. And uh, so those are the ones that I'm going to be working on, along with Chase the Nightmare. And uh, I got I have this Juggle of Homie. He's actually an admin on Juggles for Jesus, but he's also my business partner, and he's the artist for the comics, for all my comics. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, That's he's cool. Cult Shit Hero, is his name on Juggles for, Juggles for Jesus. Okay. All right, so, um, well, my phone is dying. Uh, can I call you back on my cell phone real quick, and we'll talk for, like, another 15 minutes? Sure, yeah. All right, um, I'm calling you now. Okay. All right, peace. Hey, what's up? Hey. Sorry about that, bro. That's all, right? Yeah, damn house phone dies too early and everything. Uh, but, um, you know, I don't want to burn up too many minutes on my cell phone, but 10, 15 ain't that bad. So, um, <clears throat> you know, um, okay, so about the comic book, um, what kind of comics were you into growing up? Like, what, why, why, are you so, why do you like comics so much? I didn't. I actually didn't grow up with a lot of comics as a kid. I liked stuff like Batman and Superman and Spider-Man and all, you know DC and Marvel and stuff like that was what I was mainly into. Uh, but I actually didn't really own a lot of comics. I own I own a decent amount of comics now, but not still not that much. But yeah. Um, and that's uh, what I was into as a kid, growing up, like Marvel and DC. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, all right. So um, uh, we just talked about video games. Um, I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. But uh, is there any uh, video games you're looking forward to getting? Any newer releases coming out or anything? I'm kind of interested in the new Doom game. There's a new Doom? New Doom? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a remake or if it's a uh, or if it's a reboot or what it is, but yeah, it's just called Doom, I believe. Okay, how did you like the Doom movie with The Rock? Uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool, especially at the end when they did it in first person uh, view. Like yeah. Video game. Yes, that was awesome. Uh, what did you think when the Rock died? He was like, "But I'm not supposed to die." You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, 
that was funny. Yeah, I actually haven't seen that movie in a long time, so I really don't remember it very well. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I, I remember a little bit, and it was pretty awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, wow, okay. So, um, what, video games, what video games did you grow up playing? What was your generation? I grew up with, I, well, the first video game system that I owned was Nintendo, original Nintendo. Uh, NES or Super Nintendo? NES. Ah, same here. Yeah, because I'm old. I'm 33. So when I was, you know, I, I didn't play Atari, but I had a, a regular NES with the original Mario 1, 2, and 3 and all that. Yeah, the first game that I owned, I, I believe, was the Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers. Well, the original Mario was on NES, and then 2 and 3 were on Super, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, but then like with the 64 started really getting fun. Now the 64 was the last one I owned, and I just recently got a new one, another one. But uh, with Perfect Dark, I gotta love Perfect Dark Double or Seven on the on the 64. But did, did you have a 64 at some point? No, I, actually I've never owned a 64, but that's something that I want to get at some point. Oh man, yeah, like Mar Super Mario 64. Uh, so many great games on the 64, you know. But uh, I remember I also had a Sega Dreamcast, but that was ahead of its time, and people weren't ready for it, so it didn't really blow up that big. Graphics were insane. Yeah, yeah. That's another one I've never owned, but I've played it before, and it was pretty cool. Yeah, man. Sonic and all that. Yeah, I think I think I heard a rumor Sonic, I mean not Sonic, Sega was supposed to come back with another console. I thought they were just a gaming company now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I heard something about that too. I just don't really know much about that. Uh, yeah. I'm to look that up. Because mm -hmm. they've tried so many times and everything, you know, but <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I'm more of a they play should go for it, though. I think they should at least try Okay, PlayStation or Xbox? I, I forget if you told me. Oh, I don't know. I really take sides. I love them both. But probably, uh, since I grew up on PlayStation, probably PlayStation. I'm a PlayStation man myself. Yep, okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, you know, did you ever play Need for Speed Underground 2? I don't think I played that one. I played some of them. But I don't think I played that one. Okay, I'm sorry. I just have fond memories of playing that game on the PlayStation 2. Um, are you, do you like role playing games? Uh, RPGs, yeah. I like RPGs. I like stuff like Zelda and uh, Final Fantasy and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, did you ever play Final Fantasy 7? No, I have not. 10. And, uh, you know, I've actually not owned Final Fantasy games before. I've played, I've played some, I just never owned any. So. <laughs> okay, yeah, like back in the day when you could go to the movie store and rent movies and games and stuff, now it's the Redbox or Netflix and stuff like that, Gamefly, all that different crap, you know what I mean? Where, where are the yeah. good old days? I'm sorry, say that again? The good old days, man, of going to the video store like Blockbuster. Ah. In my area, was Movie King and Movie Gallery, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. It's crazy, man. It's a whole different era now, you know what I mean? You just you, you can order it at home or, just, or stop by your local Walgreens to use the red box. Yeah, it's crazy how things change. Crazy. It's a whole new era. Like, pay phones are dying out. You can barely find a pay phone anymore. Uh, like, when I went to New York, they were everywhere. And I was like, wow, man, this is crazy. And then someone said, yeah, but most of them don't work. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever been to a big city like New York? Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm from Michigan. Uh-huh. So I live about maybe nine miles away from Detroit. Okay. So you've been to Detroit, yeah. then. I, I, I guess you've been to Detroit. Yeah, I've been I've been to Detroit. I've been downtown Detroit. I've been on eight mile. I've been on seven mile. So yeah. So is it really as ghetto and dangerous as they say, or what? 
it was definitely, you know, but I've never had anything like run up on me or anything like that. But yeah, I'm sure it's definitely, it's definitely one of the most dangerous cities. Mm. For sure. Yeah, yeah, you just hear so much about it. Um, wow, okay, so Royal Oak, Michigan, wow, okay. Uh, <clears throat> have you ever been to any uh, psychopathic or uh, juggalo-related concerts? Yeah, I've seen I've seen B multiple times. I don't even know how many times I've seen them. Quite a few times I've seen ICP. I've seen ABK quite a few times. Probably around six, seven times probably by now. Wow, oh, because he does a show. He does the Free Turkey Bash uh, show right before Thanksgiving every year. Oh yeah. And uh, so I, I go to that every year. Um, I've seen Twisted once. And let's see, who else have I seen? I've seen Big Who Cool. Uh, yeah, I just went to How Wicked just last, last Halloween, last year. Oh, uh, yeah. That was pretty cool to see POD perform. The ace paint on and stuff. They were uh, dressed like the red, like uh, the presidents. No way. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Because they're a Christian band too. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping that they'll be performing at the gathering this year. But yeah. I haven't heard anything about that. Well, they already did perform at the gathering last year, or the year before, didn't they? Yeah, I think they performed at the gathering like a few years. Two, three years ago, something like that. Yeah, so they're definitely down with the clown. That's awesome. Um, okay, so yeah, this gathering is going to be pretty special. Gathering seventeen. Are you making plans to go? Yeah, I'm. I'm I'll definitely be going. I'll be going with my cousin's band. He, uh, what's that? He's a guitarist. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's and, cool. Yeah, I'm going with them, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Joe Hamlin and the rest of the guys from Jesus Street. Oh, uh, yeah. I wish I could say I'd meet you there, bro, but, you know, things just didn't work out that way. Um, but, um, okay, so, you know, we definitely want to see some reviews, uh, take pictures and all that stuff. You know, and just uh, maybe I can do an interview with you when you get back to talk about your experience. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, I'm down. Awesome, awesome. Okay, what are some of your favorite memories of going to uh, Juggalo concerts? Definitely Hello, Mom. Which I've been to Hollywood twice now. So uh -huh. is, is always awesome. Um... The ABK shows are always awesome. Um, uh, we signed my CD. We signed a uh, album. We signed my like you said my drive-by album. And uh, and yeah. And, I'm sorry. You uh, said you met Blaze. You met Blaze and got an autograph. I'm at ABK. Uh, ABK, okay, sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry, my mom was just yelling at me. You might need some heat tonight. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, who else did you meet? I met Big a couple times. No um, way. Yeah, just last year I met him again, and, uh, and I was like, hey, you're one of my favorites, man. And he was like, yeah, you're one of my favorites. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, well, signed my album. He signed the Christmas Skull album for me too, and he put Happy V Day because my birthday is November twenty seventh. Ah, nice. So definitely one of my favorite memories as far as going to a general concert. Mhm. Mm okay. So then you saw him perform that night, right? Right. So how was his performance? I've seen him perform a couple times, like two or three times now. He's great. His performance is, is awesome. 
Yeah. And, and, and performance wise, it's great. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, mm. And then I also want to, uh, um, to the release of the Mighty Death Pop. That's another one of my favorite memories. Ah, uh, yeah. The re TV release party. That was awesome. Really? Yeah. Okay. So what's your... Got to see some JCW and everything. Okay. So, you know, even with the gang affiliation that the cops are looking at us, you know, we are we basically won the FBI case and they dismissed it or whatever. But um what's your view on um being a juggalo nowadays? Is it still a good time to be a juggalo? Is there too many uh people that give us a bad name? Or how how do you just feel? Do you feel it's still a good time with the Joker cards and we're right in the middle of the second deck and everything? How do you feel about the state of the juggalo community? I feel like I don't. I think the majority of the Juggalo family are, are not crazy killers and destructive people. I feel like the majority of of the Juggalo family, I, I feel, are are decent people. Um, you know, the whole gang affiliation thing is ridiculous, in my opinion, and because. You know, I don't. I, mean, I I just don't get how the FBI cannot tell the difference between music related, you know, music related family and and a gang. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I think it's ridiculous. But um, but yeah, it's it's still a good time to be a juggalo, in my opinion, and. Uh, I think that, you know, as long as, you know, some generals don't rep the hatchet man and stuff like that. They stopped repping um, general t-shirts and stuff because of the whole gang affiliation. <clears throat> and, uh, and yeah, that's, that's kind of sad that it's coming down to that. But, I mean, I still rep everything and, uh, and I just think basically as long as you don't do anything crazy, illegal, I think that I I think that cops are whatever I'm gonna give you a lot of trouble or anything. Unless they're like bad cops, but Okay. Have you ever been harassed or hated on for being a juggalo? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, on Spend Life. Really? I, spent, I was, yeah, I was hated. This, this one chick, like, messaged me, uh, not messaged me, but, like, commented on Spend Life. And, uh, she was like, oh, you're a juggler. You probably have sex with all these men. And she was basically implying, and I was like, you don't know me. You can't judge me like that. <laughs> You no, know, so yeah, I was hated for it. I'm, I'm from like, other than that, I can't recall very many times I have actually been hated on for that. Mm. Well, how about from family members? Did just some family members not understand? Oh yeah, like my mom kind of doesn't get the whole Christian general thing as far as how you can be a general and a Christian at the same time. Um, but she definitely thinks that the general is the Jesus page is definitely a good thing. Mm, yeah, that's good. And, uh, yeah, so... But, you know, it's basically cool with it. Uh, you sound a little muffled there, guy. Oh, I said, I said everybody's basically cool with it. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, like my baby's mama doesn't want my kids to uh, be juggalettes because apparently to her all juggalettes are sluts and whores and stuff. So you know, people some people just have biased opinions, you know, because they're ignorant and they don't understand us. Yeah, that's, that's saying all juggalettes are sluts or whores is 
just as ignorant of saying all black people are criminals or whatever. Yep, exactly. Or, it's prejudice. It's prejudice. Um, so, yeah. You know, you know, and that's basically how why we're hated on so much. ICP is the most hated band, and jugglers are the most hated subculture. You know what I mean? Because they are prejudiced, and they fear what they don't understand, and they hate what they can't conquer. I guess it's just a fear. And your man became a monster. All right, a little nods for you there. Uh, but anyways, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Is there any shout-outs you want to give to anyone mainly? You want to talk to shout-outs and juggle Yeah, shout-out to all the admins of Jugglers for Jesus. Culture Hero, um, Swing Clown, Bulls Brother, um, Juggalo 116, and, uh, see who else am I missing anybody? I mean, for Jesus, um, shout out to my homie, Matt Loke, uh, rapper that I'm trying to help at Jesus, and, uh, shout out to, shout out to, uh, Chelsea, my homegirl Chelsea, which is it's called I'm Jealous for Jesus. Um, <clears throat> shout out to from Jello and Jesus Free. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, shout out to all the Jello family out there. And yeah. Definitely. All right, well. Thank you for this opportunity to talk to you for a little bit and get to know you a little bit better. It's been real. Maybe we'll do a follow-up interview or something. Sure, I'm down. All right, cool, man. Well, everyone, be sure to check out From Juggalo to Jesus Freak on Facebook. And, um, yeah, and uh, especially War Angels Post. He lets you know when he's the one who posts, right? You leave your tag every time you post, right? Yeah. Yeah, Inquire, hit us up if you want to help. Possibly if you think you could bring something to the page, if you want to help and possibly be an admin, we can make you an editor, not a full admin. You know what I mean? Cause only, only, only we get the admin position, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we we run the game, you know. <laughs> Let me stop. Yeah. All right, so... uh. For one admin. Oh, you think? Um, okay. that wants to join the page, hit me up. Yeah, yeah, just if, you know, you post, like, good Christian um, pictures or inspirational quotes or something or Bible verses and stuff like that, you know, that's what we're looking for. So, or anything, you know, juggalo and Christian Christian juggalo related. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks again, um, War Angel, and um, everyone who checked out the interview. Um, I'll talk to you later. I'll hit you up on Facebook. All right, War Angel? Cool. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, peace. Mm -hmm.